I'm Keith Eldon, if you don't happen to know who I am. I'm the chairman of the Church and Society Committee here at Williams City United Methodist Church. Seated across from me is Erica Brown Binion, who's the executive director of the Refugee Development Center. Our Williamston Church and Society Committee is engaged with the RDC to help support recent refugees arriving in mid-Michigan, and who in many cases have nothing on their body except their clothes they have. Erica, would you please give us a, a brief history of the RDC and, and, and just what are the goals of the organization? Yeah, sure. So thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be with you virtually. Uh, the RDC has been around for 20 years. Um, we'll celebrate our 20th birthday on May 10th of this year. And the reason that we exist is really to support refugees when they first arrive in the country and make sure that they have the tools that they need to survive. So similar to what you said, sometimes they arrive with just the clothes on their back. They literally had to flee um, overnight um, and have, have much of, you know, nothing. So we help provide um, resources to them so that they can thrive in their new community for the long term. We work with people um, for as long as they need support, and that's really central to our mission, that there is no time limit on any of the services that we offer. Thank you. Currently, the RDC is targeting refugees from Afghanistan for support. Tell us about what that support looks like. Yeah, so we have welcomed about 300 refugees who were evacuated from Afghanistan over the last several months. Um, our role in that is number one, to be a welcoming face, um, a welcoming center for people to know that they have a safe place to land. We provide um, support helping families get into schools and understand the American school system. We help families understand their home, um, to navigate new appliances, new knickknacks, whatever it might be um, in their house. So really all of, the, all of the things that we may take for granted that um, help us feel welcome and um, at home in a place is our job. And central to all of that is a foundation in education. So we provide English classes, tutoring, mentoring, um, home visiting, support with the American school system, like I mentioned. So a lot of those pieces that help people feel connected. Is the RDC helping to find residences for the refugees? That's a really good question. So we don't do initial residence. However, um, we have what's called a welcome home fund right now. And our it's a huge initiative that's new for our organization that's focused on helping people after their initial placement in residence, finding a permanent home, um, a, a place that they can perhaps own. So we're working closely with um, housing agencies. So they can do home ownership education, financial literacy, build credit, those kind of things, um, so that they can get out of rentals that are really high price right now and find a forever home. We've worked with St. Vincent on some things before. Don't they play a role in that as well? Absolutely, St. Vincent is the first um, point of contact for all refugees when they first arrive. They are the resettlement agency. We work really closely with them to provide services after that initial um, time of resettlement, which is what St. Vincent takes care of. Our Church and Society Committee would like to encourage our congregation to participate in the RDC Giving Tree 2022 program. It sounds very similar to our Operation Santa that we conduct ourselves every December. Tell us about the Giving Tree and how it works. Yeah, it's a wonderful virtual giving tree that we have every single um, new refugee arrival has their own individual profile and you can virtually select that profile and find the items that um, the family has identified that they need and we deliver it to them. And so what kind of things might we see on the list of items? Clothing, household items, things that they don't get right away, razors we've seen, irons, um, rice cookers, tea kettles, things like that. So the daily things they need to function in their temporary residence. Absolutely, and feel like home. So some of the things that are really important to them. Is there a deadline for participation in the Giving Tree? It's ongoing. Every time we get a new arrival, we add a new family, and you can always check on it and, and pick up a family that needs help. 
Do you expect any Ukrainian refugees in the future? It's, it's very likely that we'll see Ukrainians come um, to the United States, but it does take a long time. It's not a quick process. Um, and for sure, the number one hope for Ukrainians right now is to be able to go home and have safety where they were from. Well, thank you very much for visiting with us this morning. Uh, members of the congregation, stay tuned to the newsletter, Facebook page. We'll be giving you more instructions about how you may participate in the Giving Tree. Have a good day. Thank you.